and he's like, go away, I don't want to work with you, you're crazy, and Ben Riley is like, you work with not stable people all the time, you're Otto Octavius. Yeah, he's like, if anybody understands somebody trying to swing for a chance at redemption, it should be you. So this come, group of people uh, in yeah, general. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you all. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was Octavia Otto that uh, that had, I, I guess, brought him in or contacted him. Well, no, he he followed oh. the, followed them from um, from someone else's world, the other Scarlet Spider's world. Uh, oh, that's right. He went through yeah. the portal. Yeah, right after. Yeah. Him. After right. Otto was like, I don't want Ben Riley on our team. Right. Yeah. He's the like, we cast. don't need it. The dice cast. <laughs> Just after every sentence, he says, the dice cast. What's for lunch? The, the dice, dice cast. I, we haven't decided yet. The, the dice the cast. Dice cast. <laughs> and then, of course, in typical lame fashion, Miles Morales interrupts. Yeah. And he's like, hey, we're about to run into the new you t- um, building where... And assault the inheritors and basically try to stop them from using the technology, the cloning technology. And we're going to do it right now. And Otto's like, we're not prepared. You're not prepared. You stupid young Spider-Man. And he's like, he's like we just wanted to let you know. He's like, it's, we're not asking you permission. We're letting you know that we're doing this. If and you want to join us, sure. <laughs> right. Which is super cool. I, I dug that there. I mean, they are being super young, bold, and brash about it, but they apparently have somewhat of a plan that they're they're running in with. Um, the rest of Otto's group, they're kind of like, well, maybe, you know, we should probably go. And help them so they don't die. And he's like, no, the die is cast. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 pretty much. Yeah, yeah he, he shuts it down, basically. Like, We're not ready. If they're going to be idiots, let them be idiots, and they'll die. Right. We're going to make a plan. To stop the inheritors. Let them be Justice League Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Those idiots. Those idiots. <laughs> Make sure that's the title for the Justice League Dark episode. Oh, yeah. Those idiots. <laughs> yes. Um, um, but yeah, he's like, the subject is closed. Yes. It's, we're not doing it. So then we cut to the... What is it? The, the inheritors. New, new you. Yeah. The new years, we see that the inheritors uh, have already cloned the body of their father, but the his essence, his body, his being is still trapped in within the stone that's somewhere. I, uh, that one that, of their sisters is getting. Oh, no. Well, which is also, I think, Verna. Volta, yeah. Volta Spiders? Oh, yeah. or I think it's... Was it Volta Spiders? No, it was yeah, Spider no. Girls, I think. I think it was one of those ones as in the side stories. Side story! Side story. Um, the whole time, Porker is... Peter Porker is... Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham has already... Um, is infiltrating hearing them saying that, that there's some complications. They haven't finished everything. Um, because yeah. they haven't made clones for themselves yet. They've only been able to clone their, their father. And, right. Um, it's only going to take time. Yeah. Lots of time. And it's like they don't understand the technology really. He doesn't yeah. know how to handle it. Um. And then Porker Ham, Spider Ham, he um, reports back to the rest of the group and is like, uh, he, Genix needs tech support badly. Guess he's not much of a whiz with, a, with non steampunk equipment. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and then the next part is also great where um, Petey. Spider Petey um, is like, okay, I gotta ask, are you a person who got bitten by a radioactive pig, or is this some crazy Charlotte's Web reboot? And then Ben's like, please, we've talked about this, don't say everything you think out loud. (laughs) Which, if you don't know the origin of Spider-Ham, it's real confusing. Super confusing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But, moving on. Uh, yeah, let's see. So they, the team, basically resolve at this point that uh, they they found the weakest points in the structure of the building. They've planted bombs, and they're ready to detonate. He's, Miles is giving directions, get everybody out of here. I need to press this at the last second before I step through the portal. So let's get going. And just then, before they get a chance to move, 
a blade flies across his wrist and cuts cuts his arm, making him drop the detonator. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the inheritors happened to have come out of nowhere. Said, "I thought I smelled food." Yes. Yeah. And uh, then there is a big fight it's breaking out, and one of them, or the, they get the detonator from Miles. It gets destroyed. It gets destroyed. Yeah. Yes. And um, Miles screams no, and the inheritor is like, "Yeah, yes, given to despair. It has the lo loveliest hint of citrus." <laughs> yeah. As he starts to absorb his essence, yeah. um, and and Miles tells Penny, Spider, Penny uh, Spider, sp Spider, basically, blow. You have a uh, the ability to blow within the suit. Do it, do it. And she's like, "I'd be killing all of us. I'm not doing that." Do it for the greater good. Yeah, no. basically. <laughs> you yeah. can't let them win. You have to do it. They're dead anyways. Yeah, we're, de we're dead anyways. Might as well, you know, take us with them. Or take them with us. Um, so, just, she's counting down, and just before she hits the detonate. The uh, sword vigor <laughs> through the building. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah. Scrunch. Yeah. And here was all, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all stabbing the side of this building. It's yeah, this large. It's normal. <laughs> it's awesome. To the rescue is the cavalry. Is Otto's team yep. busting in through the hole in the wall, um, looking like badasses, uh, rescuing everybody, getting everybody out, tell them to get on the the leopardon. Sorry, I got I got the the wigglies, the chills because I just saw a spider spiders men. Sp spiders man? Spiders, spiders man. <laughs> and he has all of his spiders going everywhere, and I'm like, ew. <laughs> not, I don't even have that much problems with the spiders. He's spider, like, spider. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Man. Uh, <laughs> Miles says that Genix uh, disarmed all the bombs so they can't destroy the equipment. Um, spiders man tells him that they have people on it or whatever. Uh, and so sp Spider Punk says that. Oh, Spider Punk. Yeah. Which and, turns out it's Ben Riley. Yeah, um, using his P. knowledge of the the technology, and he basically bricks their equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, um, which was much easier than he thought it would be. Right, which is good. Mm -hmm. Um, they tell him to do the use the sword of vigor again. But, Spider two pita man. Yeah, but he it's still recharging. Um, they're trying to do the best they can and get as much information and everything that they need out of the cloning room. Um, but they they end up not being able to get a lot because they have to leave. Right. <laughs> or the, they're going to die. It's while, while Basically, they use the youngsters to cause the distraction while they were in there getting yeah. um, what they needed, but the distraction was broken, and, and the inheritors came in after them, and uh, Otto orders the retreat to Leopardon. Um, yes. And everyone gets bored, and they fly away. Yeah, basically that's. Yeah, I like the inheritors mentioned it as they're beating the shit out of this major mech. They're like, "This is the strangest totem we've ever come across. Yeah, the strangest spider we've ever faced." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we kind of see them kind of recovering from their attack in the next scene here. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Um, Creepy monsters. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. uh... Osborne goes er, uh, to talk to Spider's man um, he, he about the inheritors, and he's like, "Yeah, they're creepy, creepy monsters, aren't they? So obsessed with eating spider people. I mean, some, some I can understand. That kid, like Veal, and it's Petey that he's <laughs> looking at. And I'm like, you're weird. And then he says, "Not that I'd do that." Power and responsibility. That's me. Definitely not eating people. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> He's funny. He's yeah, weird. For sure. <laughs> and Norman basically pulls him aside and he's like, this is important. It's about the war. And kind of says, we need to understand that sacrifices sometimes have to be made and we may not be fighting a winning battle. Yes. Kind of thing. Whatever. And he had the cosmic cube and has seen many of the dimensions that exist. And he basically says that um, since they're of different worlds, 
they could basically just close off this world and have let the inheritors have it and protect their own worlds and right. leave them to die. And Spider's Man is like, okay, right, <laughs> whatever, <it> man. <laughs> Do I get to eat people? Yeah. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and that's that's kind of it. He's like, well, keep this conversation between us, but yeah, this is probably a good plan, kind of thing, and we get left with it to be continued. Yeah. An evil looking smile on his face there. Yeah. Norman's creepy looking as well. I really like the cover for the next Spider Get In, the number four. It's a uh, Superior Spider Man holding the that oh, Ben yes. Riley guy yes. with his tentacles. This the Scarlet Spider. Yeah, it's a cool, cool looking cover. All right, well that concludes this week. It does. Yeah. At long last, this week is over. It's like yes. four in the morning. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, all uh, I, what books do you have next week, guys? All next I week. remember next week for me is Superman, and I think I share books just as no. Hold on. This Amazing yeah. Spider-Man number nine, and we all have Peter Parker. Spectacular. Spectacular, Spectacular Spider-Man. Yep, and the only other book that I will be talking about is Red Hood Outlaw number 28. And I've got Spider-Man number seven. Number seven, I think it is. My phone and everything died, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, number nine. Yeah, yeah, I did mention that. Yeah. Amazing so I think, we think that's, that's it. Don't yeah. you have Daredevil next week? <gasps> you do mm. have Daredevil next week. Number right. one, six eleven, right? I did not see that. I did not see that. Uh, I don't know. I'm. We have missing. Missing. Uh, but yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, that's it. We don't. We don't have a whole heck of a lot. We week. may have surprises for you. Yeah. Just listen. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, what happens? Do you um, have a quote for us there? You know, I did, and I don't know what I did with it. Give me just a moment. No problem. I'll do the ending stuff. Um, so, as always, we'd like to thank our local comic book store, All Seas Collectibles, at 1250 South Abilene Street, 80012. Always pick up the books, look at them, read them, touch them with your head. Hands. Nothing beats actually reading these comics. It's it, it's a good time for all. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Lots of good stories, and we just talk about a small section of what's actually out there. Like, yeah, we barely get a chance to talk about independents and other indie, other co- companies. It's not just DC and Marvel. They just happen to have big storylines happening right now. Hi, podcast. I do uh, have Daredevil next week, by the way. So you're okay. Sure so yeah. I just missed that one. Um, man, I don't, let me see. And Cosmic Ghost Rider next week. We're going to oh, yeah. be talking oh, yeah, about the whole right. storyline yeah. we've been kind of holding off for you. Uh, we get all the five parts. It's kind of confusing. It's Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah just, he's in space uh, or something. Vengeance in space. <laughs> um. Um. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're basically on all the important social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, like and subscribe. Comment, comment. please. Um, even though I just said that. <laughs> subscribe. If Do you it wanna, twice. We yeah. also take listener support. We, we would welcome any support. Yeah. We, get, we, do, we do have goals. We up, like to hit a hit, live episode hit soon. Hit us up. Definitely. We would also like to move to New York so we stop missing all of these local artist signings. Yes. Mostly from Scott Snyder. So. That'd be great. Snyder and the big stuff happens in New York. Yep. Um, yeah, I do have a quote from cool. George Eliot's The Mill on the Floss that says, We can never give up on longing and wishing while, we're, while we are thoroughly alive. There are certain things we feel to be beautiful and good, and we must hunger after them. Hi. Oh, nice. I thought you were going to quote the Telltale Heart, but it's fine. Or something. (laughs) I told you. Aquatic, since it takes up 90% of this episode. (laughs) (laughs) This this episode is waterlogged.